it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we will be on MAFMV2 again, but uh, we're going to start off here in the uh, spreadsheet, the Google document. So I got all the stats in here um, and ready to go. So the wheat, we started with 8,427 liters and we ended with 765,851 so we combined a total of 757,424 liters, which converts over to 21,494 bushels. Um, yes, all of these BPAs are horribly unrealistic, but nothing I can do about it. Um, the bushels per acre was 443. We had um, 48 and a half acres of that, or 19.64 hectares. Um, and I just, I want to look at something here. 9, 10, 11, okay. Um, so corn, we started with 8,249 liters, ended with 296, 218, for a total of 287,969, uh, or 8,172 bushels. We had a 272 bushel of yield on 30 acres. Uh, the beans started with nothing. Uh, we... Combine a total of 220,200. Uh, that converts over to 6,248 bushels. We had 149 bushels an acre on 42 acres. Uh, the income uh, from soybeans, we made $233,587. Corn, we made $71,565. Uh, wheat, we made $243,031. Um... I put down a list of all the equipment that uh, we will need for getting into dairy. Uh, we already have the baler, so class quadrant 3800K, what's that? I'd have to look. I don't think I actually need that. I uh, might have to adjust some of that stuff, but... Um, oh, no, never mind. I know what that is. Uh, so we got the Bobcat T180, uh, the White's Palette. Forks, bale, spike, and high tip bucket. Uh, Kuhn GMD 66, that's a mower. Uh, the Kloss Quadrant 3800K, that's a forage wagon, that's what that is. Uh, we got a round bale trailer, Joskin Aquatrans 3600, which is a water trailer. Cavernland KD 710 diet feeder, that's obviously a feeder. Ford 6640 front loader, Brown's bale spike, and then all of that stuff together will be 98,570. Um, buying 75 cattle, dairy cattle to start off with for 150,000. Um, that'll be a total of 359,535 dollars. So we'll have made 108,000, uh, dollars. That's you know without adding in the um, stuff for. For the uh, um, seed and fertilizer and whatnot. Um, I did have to make a couple of changes. And I'll show you guys that change here in just a moment. Let's head over to the field first. So yeah, all the harvest is sold. All the tillage is done except for the wheat field. Which we obviously cannot do right now. Um... So yeah, as you can see, there is some John Deere and a round baler. Uh, the reason for that is, for whatever reason, the New Holland, uh, that square baler that we had bought, uh, for whatever reason, it's conflicting with some other mod of mine that I have, and it's it causes, you know, when I save the game, close it, and come back, all the equipment is gone. So, um, decided, I guess, well, we'll just go ahead and do some round bales with the John Deere 864. So, uh, that's what we're going to be doing in this episode, is making some bales. So, we're going to go ahead and get the, uh, International fired up here, get that dropped, that on. So, we'll just start out with first gear here. And 
we'll get started on some bailing. You know what, let's get some doors and windows opened up here. Let some fresh air in. Okay, so now I gotta remember. Okay, so it must be. Okay. So it is all tied and ready to rock. Ooh, this is a big section of straw. Try and get some of this picked up. Ooh, and I took that corner way too sharp. Oh well. We're all good. So we'll just kind of see how many bales we make off all this. And then, uh, yeah, so I think at least this episode will be bailing. We'll see how far along we get in the bailing. Maybe I'll just bail in this episode. And then the next episode will be... Um... You know, haul, buying the equipment to haul the bales and then hauling them. Not sure yet. <clears throat> but, we'll just kind of see where we're at. How much, you know, how many bales we've made. Or, not how many bales we made. How much straw is left to bale, really. Because there is quite a bit of straw here to bale, so... So we're going to angle this one here. Oops. A little too far. Going to angle it so that way hopefully it doesn't roll too terribly far. Looks like it's not going to roll at all, which is perfectly fine by me. That's one thing about uh, the bale physics in Farm Sim is... You know, they roll more than they would in real life in places... I mean, yeah, bales roll in real life, but definitely nothing like what they roll here in Farm Sim. Especially in 13, I mean, the physics in 15 are definitely more advanced than they are here. But, oh, no, I'm not going to get that. Come on, tractor, back up. Definitely takes a lot more power to back up the hill than it does to go down. So we are definitely going to have quite a few bales. Because, I mean, we're already at four and we haven't even finished three windrows yet. And these are fairly short ones, too. Which is the other thing. This baler is definitely my favorite baler. Uh, I wish when it was converted over to 15, all these features were kept. Uh, that would be pretty nice. But I suppose maybe, you know, 15 doesn't support some of these features or something. And so that's why they didn't keep them. Uh, yeah, that's all that's, all that's there for that window. Bail number five. 
I really love these internationals too. I wanna, I wanna convert these over the proper way. You know, like when they were converted over, it was pretty, you know, quickly done. And I wanna, you know, give them new AO texture so they work with dirt in 15. And you know, I just, I wanna make it so that these tractors are the same in, you know, in 15 as they are here in 13. That's what I wanna do. Maybe I just said that backwards. I did not even pay attention there. If I said same in 15 or 13 as they are here in 15, then I apologize. But there are a lot of FS13 mods that I have in a folder that you know I wanna I wanna work do some work to in Blender. You know, do some AO you know new AOs and stuff like that or. You know, use the existing AOs and just make it so that there's only one material and all that stuff. And just get them, you know, the same way they are in 13, just up to 15 standards. Try and get this out of the way of the next couple, next couple passes. I'm sure somebody will say something about the fact that I'm using duels on this tractor while bailing. You uh, usually when we bail, uh, we have our, you know, the, our case 2290 runs at least one baler, and that always has duels on it. So, <clears throat> you may not run duels, but uh, there's plenty of people that do. I know I've gotten that many times, where if I use duels on, you know while I'm cutting hay or something like that you know, somebody will say something about it I am recording right okay just want to make sure that uh, come on tractor yeah and that's right this thing also has a manually net feature too that's another thing I really really like about this baler so like you know once we finish the straw here uh, that one wouldn't have rolled dang it now it is oh well it'll be at the bottom of the field for us I guess um, you know like once we're done with all this straw if the baler's like you know let's say 70% full I can just manually net that bale and just have you know one bale that's smaller Same with like the hay whenever we do that. Uh, we'll be using that hay field over there. Uh, I don't think that you have to buy that one or can even. Uh, let's look here. Nope, you don't have to buy it. So we can just head over there and bale that field. And if I remember right, this baler actually gets dirty here in 13, too. I can't remember if it does or not. I thought it did. Guess we'll find out. I remember having one that got dirty, but I can't remember if it was in 15 or 13. I just remember that it, it was like a dust, kind of a dusty look to it, is what it was. I remember that. bail at a pretty reasonable speed with this baler. We're running about nine. Uh, what's our net wrap looking like? We should check that. I can't remember how many bales it lasts. Oops. I want E, not C. close that panel I didn't mean to open that one so we still got the one still got two rolls so we're good yet for a while I can't remember if it I thought it was maybe like 20 bales or something like that 
her roll. Whoa, too fast. I accidentally hit two instead of one. I don't want to be bailing that fast. This has a pretty cool looking setup, I have to admit. I'm not a huge red fan, but you know, like at our farm, it's international in case, so you kind of gotta deal with it. There is a couple John Deere's, but one doesn't run, and one we don't use. We have a, I think it's a 50, 10, 50, 20, something like that. Can't remember what that was. That does not. We don't use it anymore. The only thing that it could run is the nine wheel rake because it needs to be split and the PTO redone is what my dad said. So rake is the only thing it can be used on but now since my uncle got his New Holland I think it's a TD 5050. That number kind of stands out in my head. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what it is but ever since he got that that's run the nine wheel that or his uh, 806 I think is what it is um, that sometimes has run it too but mostly the New Holland has and then the one that we don't use anymore is my dad's uh, 2420 Swather I think it is um, we don't really use swathers anymore. I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Uh, we just use the double mowers now. So the swathers sometimes get used for cutting slews, but uh, normally it's just uh, my uncle's Macdon conditioner that we use. I know I think that's what got used last year. I don't think they started any of the swathers for anything. Unless they used it, I can't remember, but pretty sure it was just the uh, Macdon that they used. But, um, and then the one John Deere that does get used is my dad's 4430. That usually runs the, one of the New Holland Balers. Um, that's usually run what runs that, or what that runs, I should say. Yeah, 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 I hear ya. But otherwise, we got uh, like the 5488, or no, 5088, that's not a 54. 20, two 2290s, uh, 1086, 1466, 1270, 1370, I think they parked that though, um, what else is there, there's the Deutz, Except that didn't. Um, that was. That's what runs the V rake usually. The 10 usually runs the mower. Or a mower. Uh, sometimes that 2290 runs a mower. Got all kinds of varieties of equipment. All international in case though, except for the 4430. Back up. <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see how course play runs this field with all these waterways and stuff. It's 
Definitely going to be interesting. A bit of a pile there. Come on, just a little bit more. There we go. So we got, uh, what are we at? 15, this will be 16 now. Or no, it counts at once it's full. So that's 15. Oops. I should pull ahead first. Let's just check this again. Okay, so we still got one. Let's just look here in the store once. Maybe it says something. Wrap. <laughs> okay, it probably says on the net wrap. Fifty. Okay. So we can make a hundred bales with this before we need more net wrap. For some reason, I thought it was like twenty or something. But so we can make a hundred bales with what's in this baler. Be nice if we have to refill it from this straw. <laughs> that would mean that we got quite a few straw bales, but. I don't know if this map has the oat so that you can bale them. I'll have to find out because when we do oats, we can bale those, make some straw out of them. That'll be some more straw there. See, I think at the rate that we're going here, uh, the next episode I'll probably just, we'll just work on hauling bales. Um, I think what I'm going to do is run around the field with the bobcat and bring all the bales down and stack them in a row. So that way when we go to haul them, we don't have to go all over the field. We can just go to the stack and pick them up. It'll be a little easier. So whatever baling is left after the video, then I'll just finish it and then get the bobcat. And uh, maybe I'll do a little bit of recording when I go running around with the bobcat and speed it up. Add that to the beginning of the next video. Be a little something neat to add to it. Okay, I'm just going to keep bailing until, until I'm done. So, you know, like once I finish recording, I'll just keep playing until that's done. What are we at? 18? Making our 19th fail. Yep, 19.
Another cool feature I really, really like about this baler is that you can plug it. Now, obviously, I don't want to try and plug it, but you can plug it, and that's kind of cool. I guess actually I can kind of show you. So if you drive too fast, it's not going to plug? Really? you got to be kidding me. Normally, it plugs in a heartbeat. I suppose this stuff's probably not that thick though either. Let's just try and drive full force. It was almost plugged. There we go. So now you can see. You look, you can see it's kind of built up back there. Which is pretty cool. And it's um, so you got detached PTO? No. Ah, you gotta get in here. I don't know. You can do it from the cab, don't you? Yeah. I forgot that. I thought you got to do it outside. But. But yeah, so that's what happens when you drive, you know, if you drive too fast or you get too much hay in there and or straw and it just plugs up which is that's my number one favorite feature about that this baler because that's just that's so cool you know if you if you did it in real life too you would you would plug if you drove too fast or anything so just really realistic feature pretty fun Obviously, you don't want to be plugging this thing a whole lot, but I'll try and not plug it. Plug your baler. That bale rolling with me. I think cruise control one running about nine works pretty good. Beaver does get annoying, especially in real life. They're really annoying. But if you didn't have it, that thing didn't actually work. You'd never know when your baler's full. You would like way over pack it. See, do these actually hook into something? No, they don't. Kind of figured they wouldn't. Gotta have like the right tractor to get those things to be plugged in. I know I saw, oh there's a mod in 15 that has that on it. That'd be a pretty cool script to incorporate into like every single piece of equipment. Where you know, it has like a realistic, um, I think PTO and hydraulics. It's like you put reference points on your tractor and then you put reference points on the piece of equipment and then you you know you gotta script them all in and whatever do this and that i'd have to look at it but um i think it even comes with a read me to install it or something but then once you hook it up you can um like once it's hooked up it's only there's a tractor and a tether out that's the only things that i know of that have that but um, you know when you're hooked up it your hydraulics they fit into the um, you know they fit right where they need to go on that tractor and then when you turn you know they stay plugged in and then they like flex with it 
Uh, I think I read something though that like you know, doing that creates way more polys or something like that. Like you gotta do a lot more work on your blender, you know, on your model in Blender or Maya or whatever. Something like that. But definitely would be something really cool to have added on like every single mod. Yep, I can see some dirt forming there on the shield. Yeah, there's not, uh, there is a fair amount of bailing left, but really not that much. So I'll just do like a little bit of outside view, a little bit of inside. And I know that I got people on here that you know, they like the in cap, some like both, some like out of cab only. Whole range of stuff. In a way, I'm kind of wishing I had just bailed or combined this way or something. Something where it wasn't up and down the hill. Because <laughs> that's definitely a lot, uh, lot less fun to deal with. But So far, the bales haven't been rolling on their own. That one is. But usually, so far, it's only been rolling because I bumped it. We're up at 27. We'll, we'll get quite a few more bales off of here. There's a lot of straw left. And that bale is still rolling. This thing drinks quite a lot of fuel too, I guess. Looks like. This is about the only thing that this tractor has done other than go from uh, reset point to the shed where it was parked. Well, and to hook up to the planter, I guess. So that'll about do it for this video. So yeah, I'll finish the bailing off camera. Um, that or well, I'll tell you what I'll do actually. Um, I'm going to bail quite a bit more, and um, <clears throat> when I get down to like the last few windrows I'll like do a time-lapse recording and then once I get the bobcat purchased and the bale spear and get that to the farm here uh, I am also I do need to revise the uh, expenses a little bit because I do want to add in a trailer for hauling this bobcat and all that stuff um, but yeah so then like once I get the bobcat here and start moving all these bales I'll do a time-lapse recording of that as well and uh, <clears throat> maybe we'll see how that kind of turns out um, and then I'll add those to the beginning of the next video and then in the next video we'll be uh, hauling, working on hauling and stacking those bales so yeah, that's going to do it for this video guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. 
If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Uh, be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for links to my social medias, my mod site, and other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Uh, my PC specs and upload schedule are also down there in the top of the description. Thanks for watching you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.